Today, we are venturing off the beaten path to explore 10 countries Americans can't travel to easily. On this channel, we love to celebrate freedom and ease of travel, but geopolitics sometimes has other plans. In these video, we shall be highlighting 10 countries that are notoriously tough for American passport holders to access or travel to. While none of the countries on this list ban American visitors outright, the difficulty of obtaining the proper visa and the various other hoop you'll need to jump through could be enough to dissuade you from visiting altogether. So, here are 10 most difficult countries for Americans to visit. 10. Venezuela Venezuela is a South American nation famed for its striking natural beauty ranging from the Andes Mountains to the Caribbean coastline. Venezuela has unfortunately been in the throes of a political and economic crisis for the past several years. Grappling with economic collapse and political instability, with the ongoing crisis, the American Department of State advises against all travel to Venezuela due to crime, civil unrest, poor health infrastructure, kidnapping, and arbitrary arrest and detention of U.S. citizens. As an American citizen, you will need a visa to enter Venezuela. But getting hold of one can be a complex process due to the absence of a Venezuelan embassy or consulates in the United States, following the breakdown of diplomatic relations between the two countries in 2019. Visa applications must be made through a Venezuelan embassy in a third country and require a valid passport, completed application form, passport-sized photos, proof of accommodation, and the appropriate fees. While Venezuela boasts attractions like Angel Falls, which is the world's highest waterfall, and Los Roquex Archipelago, a national park known for its pristine beaches and coral reefs, the current political and economic instability make it a dangerous destination for travelers. 9. Libya Libya is a country located in North Africa, and the ongoing conflict and civil war makes it a no-go zone for American tourists. The U.S. Department of State strongly warns against all travel to Libya due to crime, terrorism, kidnapping and armed conflict. The 2011 Libyan Civil War and the murder of the U.S. Ambassador during the Benghazi attack have greatly strained Libya's relationship with America. Obtaining a tourist visa for Libya as an American citizen can be a complex process. Tourist visas aren't being issued at present due to the ongoing political instability. But as of 2023, you can still travel to Libya on a business visa. If you choose to travel to Libya, despite the risks, it's strongly advised to register your travel plans with the U.S. Embassy through the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program. 8. Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia used to be a tough nut to crack for American tourists due to its restrictive visa policies. The country, governed under strict Islamic law, had traditionally limited visas to business travelers, Hajj pilgrims, and family of residents. But in 2019, Saudi launched a new tourist visa to attract foreign visitors as part of its Vision 2030 program, aimed at diversifying its economy beyond oil. In a significant break from its past restrictive policies, Saudi Arabia now allows Americans to apply for a tourist visa online. The application process for the e-visa is relatively straightforward and quick. Applicants need to fill out an online form, submit a passport-sized photo, and pay a fee. The visa, valid for one year, permits multiple entries with each stay up to 90 days. Despite this, women travelers still face restrictions. Women under the age of 25 must be accompanied by a family member during their visit, but women over 25 can travel to Saudi Arabia alone. While the government has eased the previously strict dress code, women are still expected to dress modestly. Saudi Arabia is home to five UNESCO World Heritage Sites, ranging from historic cities to rock arts. While exploring, remember that some sites may be off-limits to non-Muslims and always follow local guidance on respectful behavior. 7. Turkmenistan Turkmenistan is a small country located in Central Asia. This land of vast deserts, ancient ruins, and striking modern architecture is undoubtedly one of the most challenging countries for Americans to visit due to its strict visa policies and the government's general wariness of foreign visitors. The U.S. diplomatic relations with Turkmenistan are limited, with human rights and democracy issues being major sticking points. Its stringent visa process is a legacy of its Soviet past and present-day autocratic rule. Unlike many countries that offer an online application process, Turkmenistan requires you to apply through an embassy or consulate. In the United States, there is the Embassy of Turkmenistan in Washington, D.C. The requirement for a letter of invitation often proves the most challenging part of the visa application process. You will need to arrange your tour through a Turkmen travel agency, which will then apply for the letter of invitation on your behalf. The process can take several weeks and approval isn't guaranteed. 
Also, independent travel is Turkmenistan is also non-existent, and most tourists are required to book a guided tour for the duration of their stay. The only exception to this rule is a transit visa, which allows you to travel through the country for up to five days, but even this requires a detailed itinerary and is often rejected. Upon your arrival in Turkmenistan, you will need to register with the state migration service within three days. This is typically handled by your tour operator. Failure to register can result in fines and complications when trying to leave the country. 6. Syria War-torn Syria is a high-risk area that the US Department of State advises against traveling to due to terrorism, civil unrest, kidnapping, and armed conflict. The Syrian Civil War, which began in 2011, has severely strained the relations between Syria and the United States. Although the war has significantly decreased tourism, it's still technically possible, but highly discouraged, to obtain a visa through a lengthy process. Obtaining a visa for Syria as an American is a complicated and lengthy process. Applications must be made through the Syrian embassy in your country of residence. It's crucial to know that any travel to Syria could have significant future travel implications. For instance, having a Syrian stamp in your passport could result in being denied entry to other countries. It's worth noting that while Syria boasts a wealth of historical and cultural sites, the ongoing conflict has led to extensive damage and destruction. The dire situation has resulted in a humanitarian crisis, and the safety and security conditions are extremely volatile. Therefore, travel to Syria is currently strongly discouraged for safety reasons. 5. Cuba Although relations between the United States and Cuba have thawed slightly over the years, travel restrictions persist. A relic of Cold War, the U.S. embargo against Cuba prevents American tourists from visiting Cuba purely for tourism. But Americans can visit under one of the 12 authorized categories. These include family visits, journalistic activity, professional research, religious activities, public performances or competitions, and the most commonly used, support for the Cuban people. This last category requires that travelers maintain a full-time schedule of activities that support Cubans and promote Cuban civil society. Once you have determined your travel category, you will need to obtain a Cuban tourist card or visa. Most travelers can get the tourist card through their airline when they book a flight to Cuba. The card is pink for those flying directly from the United States and green for those flying from other countries. 4. Bhutan Moving on to Serene Himalayan Kingdom of Bhutan, the difficulty in traveling here is not politically motivated but rather a consequence of their unique tourism policy. To protect their environment and culture, Bhutan only permits a limited number of tourists each year, with Americans required to pay a daily fee of $200 to $200 to $250. This policy called High Value, Low Impact is an innovative effort to promote sustainable tourism. This fee might seem steep at first glance, but it's important to understand what's included. The fee covers accommodation in three-star hotels, all meals, a licensed tour guide, transportation within Bhutan, camping equipment for trekkers, and a sustainable tourism royalty that goes towards free education, healthcare, and infrastructure development in Bhutan. Essentially, it's an all-inclusive package, contributing directly to the country's welfare. 3. Eritrea Eritrea is located on the Horn of Africa and is dubbed the North Korea of Africa due to its reclusive policies and autocratic government. America and Eritrea have a strained relationship due to various issues, including Eritrea's human rights record and detention of U.S. Embassy local employees. Obtaining a tourist visa for Eritrea is notoriously difficult, with approval arbitrary. Even with all required documents, there's no guarantee of approval. It's also worth noting that the processing time can be quite lengthy, often taking several months. And even with a visa, your freedom to explore Eritrea is limited. While the process to visit Eritrea is undeniably challenging, those who have ventured there often speak of its unique appeal, from the ancient Italian architecture of Asmara to the stunning landscapes of Dalak. 2. Iran Next up is Iran, a country brimming with historical sites and warm hospitality but fraught with diplomatic hurdles for Americans. The 1979 Iranian Revolution led to strained relationships between the two nations, with the US imposing heavy sanctions on Iran over nuclear disputes. Traveling to Iran isn't impossible, but you will need to book a guided tour and undergo a lengthy visa process. Independent travel in Iran isn't allowed for American citizens. All travels must be part of an organized tour led by a government-approved guide. Guided tours of Iran can range from general cultural experiences to more specific interests such as culinary or adventure tours. 
1. North Korea Top of the list, we have North Korea, or as it is officially known, the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Prior to 2017, a few brave souls could visit North Korea through guided tours from China, via direct flights from Beijing or over Yalu River by train from the border city of Dandong. North Korea's isolationist stance, the result of a political doctrine called Juhei, along with ongoing tensions with the US, largely contributed to the travel restrictions. But now, North Korea is top of the list for countries Americans can't travel to easily. The current travel ban started with the heartbreaking and cautionary tale of Otto Warmbier, a young American who experienced the severe consequences of this nation's rigid political system firsthand. The North Korean government accused Warmbier of committing a hostile act against the state by allegedly attempting to steal a propaganda poster from his hotel. After a one-hour trial, Warmbier was sentenced to 15 years of hard labor. In 2017, after 17 months of captivity, North Korea released him but he returned to the US in a coma with severe brain damage, and he passed away six days later. Warmbier's case resulted in increased tensions between the United States and North Korea and led to a US travel ban to North Korea for American citizens. So, there you have it viewers, the top 10 countries Americans can't travel to easily. Make sure to press the like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads. Thanks for watching this one, catch you all in the next.